how to create a dead zone hi guys we'll start to create a dangerous zone just around those uh, fences which skulls so guys let's create an empty game object and let's rename it as dead zone so to do that you have to choose here create empty and as i told you we'll rename it at as dead zone so guys we will add some components we will add a collider 2d a box collider 2d around this dead zone and we'll set it as a trigger on uh, choosing this box here i'm checking this box so guys let's move the dead zone just around those curls so here is the dead zone it's empty we cannot see anything so let's be more accurate okay the dead zone is uh, i mean the the box collider 2d is in green so i will put it around here and let's scale it so to scale it we can use the scale tools here okay guys i hope you can see it okay let's put it here and we will increase here the x direction okay and, and maybe redux the y direction so i think it's not too bad like that guys let's see why i've decided to check this checkbox on running the game so if I run the game and I move the player forward if it's trigger okay the guys I mean the player can go straight forward without any collision but because it is trigger but if I uncheck the is trigger checkbox you can see that the guys cannot go through this is why you have to check this checkbox to move through guys let's create a second dead zone for the second part here of the scene so let's create let's type control d to duplicate the dead zone so just move it here okay it is good and let's guy uh, do something more organized let's create for example a new game object and we'll i will call it something like dangerous zone and i will take those two dead zone and put them inside okay guys let's continue to organize for example my background sound i can put it inside the ground and background folder let's put it here and even you know the invisible walls let's put them inside the ground and background too okay so guys let's attach a script to each dead zone to play a sound when the player go inside those zone with um, skulls so to do that you have to type new and choose new script and give a name for example dead zone script create an add and to be sure to be organized this script must be normally inside the script folder it is not so it's probably here in the asset folder so i will take this one after selecting it it takes a little bit time so i take it and i put it inside the script folder guys if i want to play a sound we have to attach to the dead zone an audio source so let's choose the audio source 
component here and normally here inside audio clip I have to choose a sound so again for that go to the sound and retro asset and choose in the audio folder a file here this one seems to be I mean not this one seems to be very noisy let's take this one let's put inside guys let's code our dead zone script to play a sound I let you remember the strategy we already did that for the money script to play a sound you have to create first a variable dead zone source here of type audio source then we have to fetch the audio source component of our dead zone game object so to do so you have to type in the start method the name of the variable that you have created use the get component method to fetch an audio source and then guy we have to manipulate this variable with the play method to play it inside a new method called dead zone source so guys when and where to call this dead zone sound we have to call the dead zone sound method whenever the player enter inside this triggered zone i mean the dead zone so guys let's erase the update method it is not the main method anymore and let's create a new method this is the end trigger enter 2d method and you can see that unity put all the needed parameters anyway guys like the on collision enter 2d method i will change you know the name of the parameters as orders so guys let's erase this collision variable and i will call it orders so guys the condition now this is the same i will copy this line so if the other game object tag is player so it means that if the player enter inside the dead zone we have to call our dead zone sound method so control c and control v here and semicolon at the end guys let's save this script let's return to unity and let's be ready to play the game and see if we if the sound is played good great guys to create a dead zone you must first create an empty game object with inside the box collider 2d component second check the trigger property to let the player go inside and third to play a sound when the player go inside the dead zone, proceed like the money scripts.